my name is Kristen. I'm one of the nurses in the emergency room. Um, we have our demonstration here for cardioversion. This is um, one of our attending physician's pastimes that he likes to embarrass us and make us do videos. So first I'm just going to review the monitor and the buttons and how we set everything up. Um, green is the power button right here. You obviously turn that on. Now we do have a rhythm because we have our leads hooked up to a patient that you're not able to see right now. So you know it's working because we have our rhythm picking up. Um, these are our paddles, not the hands-free ones, but the ones hooked up to the monitor, which are hooked up with this cord. So if you're going to do a procedure where you want to use the hands-free paddles, which are the sticky, sticky paddles that stick on the chest, you would have to disconnect this cord, which you twist it first. If you can see, there's an arrow down there. So we twist it to the left and pull it out. And then we have a separate cord for the sticky pads, which hooks in the same way as I just took the other one out. And it just kind of snaps in there. So these are disposable. They're one time use only for each patient. Just rip it open. And there is pictures on here that show you where to put them on the patient if you're unsure. So you're going to put one pad on their right upper chest and then under their left lower chest. And you can see the pictures are on there. They're going to the patient like that. And then this outlet plugs into that cord we just plugged in. And everything has arrows. So if, if you put it in the wrong way, there's only one way it goes. So if you had it in the opposite way, it wouldn't fit. So don't shove it in there and try and break it. Just arrows line up. Now the doctor is going to give you instructions when he's ready to start your procedure for the cardioversion. Um, he's going to tell you, you know, how many joules he wants to cardiovert at. So that's all under the energy. So if he says 100 joules, I think the default here is 50. He might start at 200. So if, you, if he tells you we're going to shock the patient at 100 joules, you're going to arrow down until you get the right energy. And that's basically all there is. You can arrow up and down easily. So we'll just stick with 100, say it's a larger patient. And then um, when you're ready and everybody's set up, you're going to make sure that you want to press the sync button. Sync will then have little triangles here. That's how you know you're synced, so that you're firing on the right part of the complex. So if you weren't syncing, you'd be defibrillating. Since we're cardioverting, we have our little triangles. We have our energy selected. Um, once the patient and the doctor are ready, you're going to press the charge button. First, you're, you're, and then you're going to make sure that everybody's clear. Nobody's touching the patient or any metal. So if we're all ready, I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear. We're going to press charge. And then we're going to press this button here to deliver the shock. We need to make sure that we hold it in to deliver the charge. So we're going to press charge. We already have our energy selected. Now that everybody's ready, everybody's clear, we're going to hold this button in. And then we know it worked because energy is delivered. So now we can see if you needed to deliver a second shot, our sync button is gone. Our little triangles are gone because we already delivered this shot. So if the patient needs a secondary shot, you would need to always remember to press the sync button again or else we'll be defibrillating them. So if anybody has any further questions, you can ask me right now.